everyone, and welcome back to part two of my crash course for first-time home buyers. So if you didn't see the first video, you definitely want to go and watch part one because I talk about how to get pre-approved for a home loan here in Houston, Texas. Now in part two, we're going to be talking about the costs that are involved with buying a home and whether or not you actually have to put 20% down to purchase your home. All right, so let's talk about the different costs that are involved with buying a home. So there are what I call upfront costs, and then there are costs that are later on down the line. So the upfront costs that are involved with buying a home, whether you're buying a resale property or new construction, that upfront cost is something called earnest money. Your earnest money deposit is an upfront cost involved with buying a home. So with resale, once you execute a contract on the home, then you're going to pay your earnest money deposit. Now with resale, earnest money is typically 1% of the price of the home. So if you're buying a $400,000 home, your earnest money is going to be $4,000. Now with new construction, it's the same thing. When you sign a contract with the builder, you're going to pay your earnest money deposit. Now, the amount for earnest money differs depending on what builder you're working with and the price point of those homes. So typically, the more expensive the homes are, the more, you know, the more um, for the earnest money deposit. So, you know, the earnest money for homes that are in the 400s is going to be different from the earnest money for homes that are in the 800s. So the more expensive the homes are that the builders are selling, the more amount that they will ask for for your earnest money deposit. Now, some builders charge a flat fee for earnest money. They may say, hey, your earnest money is 3,500, your earnest money is 5,000. Um, if it's in a higher price point, they may say, hey, your earnest money is 15, 20,000. It just depends on that builder. And then there are some builders who charge a percentage. They may say earnest money is 2% of the price of the home. Now, earnest money is for you to secure the home. Now, earnest money will be given back to you at closing or the earnest money will go towards your closing costs for the property. Now, let's talk about some of the other costs that are involved with buying a property. The other thing is your inspection. Now, an inspection is not a requirement, but I highly recommend that you get an inspection done on a property. Why in the world would you buy a home and not get an inspection done? That's like you don't even really know what you're buying, right? You don't truly know the condition of the home until you get an inspection done. And you're probably like, Caitlin, why would I not get an inspection? But you will be surprised, okay? When somebody is desperate for a home, they will opt out of getting um, an inspection done. Now, whether you're buying resale or new construction, I recommend you get an inspection done. And some people think that because it's new construction, you don't need an inspection, but that's not true. These homes are built by humans. They make mistakes. Sometimes they overlook things and sometimes they even take shortcuts. So you need to have an inspection done even on a new construction property. Now, inspections, um, depending on how big the home is, because typically the larger the home, the more um, the inspector is going to charge to do an inspection of the entire property. So typically inspections start um, in the 500s, like $500. They typically start um, in the 500 range and then they'll go up um, depending on how large the property is. Now an inspection is something, a cost that's involved with buying a home. Now, the next cost that we're going to talk about is your down payment. Now, a lot of people think that a down payment is an upfront cost involved with buying a property, and that is not true. That is absolutely not true. Your down payment is not something that you pay until you close on the property. At closing, that's when you pay your down payment. Your down payment is not an upfront cost involved with buying a home, okay? So even when you're building a home, and I'm not going to go too much into that, but a lot of you guys are going to be excited to watch that video when I talk about how um, it, down payment is not requirement to start building a home, only your earnest money deposit. All right. 
So your down payment, right? Now, depending, your down payment amount will differ depending on what type of loan product you're using. If you're using an FHA, your down payment will be 3.5%. If you're using a conventional loan, your down payment will be a minimum of 3%. Um, if you're using a VA, obviously your down payment is $0. Now, if you're self-employed and you want to use a special loan product like a bank statement loan or a 1099 loan, then your down payment would differ um, because you're using a different loan product. And in another video, I'll talk about special loan products for all of my entrepreneurs and self-employed people. Now, um, if you want to put down more on a property, you can absolutely do that. But at 20% down, that is not the minimum uh, that's required to buy a home. That is absolutely not true. I don't know who started that rumor. I don't know why people believe it, but that's not true. The minimum down payment requirement, if you're using an FHA, is 3.5% down. The minimum down payment requirement, if you're using conventional, is 3% down, not 20%, okay? Make sure you share this video with somebody because a lot of people... Um, delay their home buying process because they think they need 20% down and that is not the case. So the other cost that is involved with buying a home is your closing cost. Now, a lot of people focus on the down payment and they forget about earnest money or a lot of you just aren't aware that earnest money is a thing. Um, but then you also forget about your closing costs and you think the only cost that's involved is your down payment. Okay. Now, the other cost, like I said, is your closing costs. Typically, closing costs are 4% of the price of the home. Now, one thing I love about new construction properties is that um, a lot of the times, builders offer incentives, and it's so easy to negotiate with a builder to get them to cover my client's closing costs. So um, there's that. Now, you have your earnest money, you have your inspection, you have your down payment, and you have your closing costs. Those are the major costs that are involved with buying a home. Now, if you are building a home, there are some few extra costs that are involved if you're building a home from the ground up. There are different deposits um, that you will have to pay if you're building a home from the ground up. There is your design center deposit. So that's when you go to the design center and you select all of your design options for your home. They will total up all of the upgrades that you selected and they'll charge you a percentage of the total amount uh, for the upgrades that you selected. And that's called your design center deposit. Now, if you're building a home and you decide to make some structural upgrades, like adding a fireplace in your living room or doing ex extended cover patio, the builder may charge you a fee for that. And that is called a structural deposit fee. So if it costs you 5000 to add a fireplace in the living room, the builder may say, hey, we're going to charge you 10% or 20% of that 5000 to add the fireplace. So when you are building a home from the ground up, there are just a few extra costs that are involved with building a home. All right. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, guys, Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because this is a whole series that I'm doing called Crash Course for First Time Home Buyers. So subscribe so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video that's a part of this series. Leave me a comment down below. Ask me any questions that you have about costs that are involved with buying a home. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.